Okay, so here I go. I'm here at Marymore, the one, the only, the beautiful. Um, here we go on my day of rounds. I'm going to do my best um, to keep up with what I told myself, what I promised myself that I would come out here and play every morning because it's stupid that I don't because the stop is right there. Um, but the, <laughs> the only problem is I, I decided to start on a day that was, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's 46 degrees outside. So not the greatest timing, but, um, this is a big part of my, my year plan. So thank you for being with me for my year plan. Um, and I'll try and shoot some video during the round to let you know, uh, what, how I'm doing. Um, I guess it doesn't matter how I'm doing as long as I'm walking, right? All right. Here I go. throw off the tee. I uh, threw a uh, leopard. Had a tailwind, so figured, okay, nice understable. Leopards should do well. <laughs> it went right in the tree. Uh, that's pretty. Little babbling brick. So, I'm going to get the uh, leopard out of the tree. See where we go got it down okay I'm waiting on a few folks here but I'm going to try and set up the phone where you can actually see me throw okay so I didn't get to show you my my shot on two so I met Mary Moore Seawright um, like I said earlier and I was on hole three and a five some let me play through so I did my favorite thing to do uh, is totally surprise them and uh, I had a really good drive off the box. Got around that um, dog leg right and um, had a great upshot and uh, just a drop in putt. So a three on three. Um, <laughs> just feels so good to be able to do that, especially with an audience of, uh, of five guys just playing their game and giving me compliments. Just really felt good. Just want to share that because it just does. Okay, now I'm at um, hole four. This has been like a really tough hole for me, so we'll see how it goes. I wish I could, I don't know. I'm going to get a stand at some point so you can actually like watch this with me, but till then. Okay, <laughs> totally parked it. That felt really good. Um, yeah, this hole's been a, a challenge for me that really felt good. I just took a rock, an old DX rock, 180, and uh, released it at an Anheuser. It's pretty beat up, so it it pretty much just held it, a right hand back end, and it held the line pretty much the whole way. So that's cool. Is this shaking really bad? Can't really. But I'll show you my lie here. See it? That it is. Yes. Very nice. I shall take it. Okay. On to the next. Okay. We're at hole five. So this one I usually do a, a tomahawk just to get a nice and easy layup, but I have to admit, now that I'm 34, it's not so easy to do that anymore. I'm afraid of hurting myself. But I feel pretty warmed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and try. Um, so I'm just gonna position the, the phone as best I can. Whoa. Lost 
terrible. It's terrible. How's that? Okay. Okay. We'll see how it comes out. I have. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. Hope I'm not giving you a headache. All right. I'm gonna throw my old work. Um, it's a 160, so it'll carry a little further. It'll be an easy three. Okay. So I did make an easy par. Um, now I, I'm, I'm at six right now. I just threw a putter. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but just figured I'd video that anyway. So it just occurred to me that um, some of you might be wondering who the heck is this crazy woman and uh, why is she on a disc golf course? Well, my name is Shannon. I am one of the owners, my husband is the other owner of Disc Nation. It's a disc golf store in Austin, Texas. Um, and that is a big part of who I am. Um, just a brief history, um, about 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I found out about this wonderful sport called disc golf. I converted from ball golf, which I played competitively. Um, and uh, my husband introduced me to disc golf, fell in love with it instantly, started competing, um, wanted to get into the industry after meeting uh, a man named Dave Moody. Um, he sold discs at Peace Park in Central, Austin and he inspired me to to do what I loved and to make uh, to make a living out of it so after fighting the city for almost a year I finally got a permit to be out here at Mary Moore Seawright um, many of y'all might remember me and my little shop out here at Mary Moore um, that was very hard <laughs> um, but then um, the previous owners of Dis Nation actually uh, they came to Austin. They, they put their shop here um, on Slaughter Lane right down the street from Marymore. Uh, they eventually asked me to manage their store. I did. Um, and then a few years ago, they decided to sell it. They wanted to, you know, their kids were going off to college. They wanted to move on to other things. So my husband and I bought Dis Nation from them um, after, like I said, being in the industry for many, many years myself, having my own little shop. Um, yeah, so that's kind of inspired me to... Uh, well, just, I guess, being in the industry has inspired me to connect with other disc golfers, um, uh, because I've, owning the business the last few years, I've been, I've felt very isolated from the community. When I had my shop out here, many of you remember, I was, I was out here all the time. I was talking with y'all, tell, you know, we were talking about the newest, biggest releases, all the pros. I felt very dis disconnected, so that's kind of inspired me to, that has inspired me to start doing um, videos like these. So, long explanation, but that's who I am. And that's why I'm doing this. So, thank you for being here with me. <sighs> On this gorgeous day. So, here we are, hole six. Love this hole. I think I, almost every time I play this hole, it seems like there's a deer, so we'll see. Anyway, back to it. So I know y'all probably want to see shots, right? You want to see shots. Um, this is all really, really new to me, so I'm going to evolve as this uh, channel progresses, and I'm going to get equipment that will help me. But for right now, I'm just going to do the best I can and just kind of point you in the direction um, and so hopefully you can see okay hole eight here we go I'm going to throw a trusty rock 
Maybe a buzz. Maybe a buzz. Okay. Had a good line, had a really good line, but it uh, it picked up a little bit and hit a tree. Let's go get her. <laughs> okay, so it also just occurred to me, something happens to me all the time when I'm watching disc golf videos of any kind, is it makes me want to get up and play, especially when I see the, the shots. I also realize you're probably watching this at night, so keep that motivation, go in the morning, um, or if you're during the day, go now. Um, I'm going to attempt to putt whilst filming. We'll see. <laughs> There's a tree in my way. Um, I'll fix it in editing. Hey! also windy. Sorry. Let's take two. I'm trying to see the basket. Where is the basket? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it just occurred to me, um, I feel like I need to tell you this. I don't think I'm going to edit this video. I think it's just going to be like the straight raw video. Sorry. Uh, I was going to film myself driving on this hole, but there's water. And um, those of you who know me well, I will drop the phone in the water. It'll happen. Uh, so, not today, Puddle. Not today. But I will show you like where I land and stuff. So, okay, see you in a minute. Oh, turned on. Sorry. You know that feeling you have when you're like not sure if you locked your car? I'm gonna walk back to the very top of the hill. I don't don't worry, I'm not gonna record the whole time, but Okay, but first I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot my shot. <laughs> okay. Uh sorry about the sun. I had to show you because I felt like you would understand. Um, especially if you've played Mary Moore. I guess any any of the like, you know, muddy courses out there. Mud hills. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. So, just wanted to share that with you. Mud hills. Love them. Hate them, but love them. But hate them. Yes. Totally, totally lucked out. So I'm on, I just got to hole 18 to cut across to go see if my car was locked. And it went off from 18. It registered. So I could hear the boop boop. Or the honk honk. Whatever. Um, just thought I'd share that. That was awesome. I didn't have to spend like 10 minutes walking all the way up to the top. <sighs> Sometimes the best things are in the smallest packages. <sighs> okay. So I know this video is pretty, pretty choppy. Um, and going kind of in and out, but I wanted to take a moment here to really thank, thank the folks who, um, who put in their time and energy into this course, into Marymore. As I sit here on this wonderful bench and, um, I mean, it's just, it's a really special course. It really is. And, uh, thank you. Just thank you so much to all the people that put their time and energy into these places. I, I don't think 
your average kind of day-to-day disc golfer realizes how much work people put into these places. Um, so thank you, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, I can't even I can't even begin to name everybody who I know is out here. You know who you are. Thank you, thank you very much. It's cardinal. <sighs> okay. This is another hole where you can probably watch me do it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw uh, my orc again um, just to get that nice hyzer back and see where she takes me. Kick off my heels. So weird. This is a, this is like one of the first videos I've ever done. And I'm really sorry if like the camera's shaky or um, I'm just rambling on. But thanks for being here with me. I do appreciate it. It's cathartic for me. I like it. Okay. We're at hole 11 now. This one goes to 11. Um, I, you know what, from the videos that I've seen, I think it's going to be way too shaky. Sorry. I think it's going to be way too shaky if I try and film while I throw, so. Let's see if I can put it down, maybe. <laughs> no, you're just going to be looking at the sky. Okay, so. If you're still with me, thank you for being here with me because this is totally new. Um, you're you're gonna if you if you stay with me on this journey, hopefully I will evolve this process and get much much better. But right now this is what I got, so I'm just gonna throw and then just show you where I landed and you know putt and stuff. So wish me luck. Full disclosure: first shot went in the woods. I'm going to throw again. Don't tell me you've never done this. I'll put a stroke on. I'll, you know. Hey, how many times does this happen to you? Your first shot goes in the stuff. Okay? And then your second shot, oh, it is just perfect. And what do you do? Do you, uh, I'm not in a tournament. Don't tell me what legally I should do. But, um, I don't know, kind of builds your confidence, you know, because those, oh, shit, my first shot. Okay, I'm going to find my disc and we'll continue this conversation. Okay, second, second question to pose, what do you do if you can't find that first shot? Okay, so in the comments below, tell me personally, what do you do when you're out playing a casual round, um, this being, you know, by myself, and your first shot is just crap and you your second shot is just wonderful what do you do what do you do how do you count it do you add a stroke do you um just you know say whoopsie everybody gets one uh what do you do and then what how long do you look for a disc how long do you look for a disc uh, personally, I just happened to throw a putter. Um, it's not a favorite. It's it's not a throwaway. But uh, gee, Willikers, uh, it'd be nice to have it back. Um, also, one other question: Do you have a method of looking for a disc you threw in the woods? My method is start short on the ground, eye height, then high, and then work your way forward.
please put your comment in the comments below. I don't know where to look. Should I look at the camera or should I look at me? Camera? Me. I'll, we'll figure it out together. I don't know. Anyway, comments. Alright, it's in there somewhere. I've looked. Admittedly, not very long. But uh, I shall give it to the gods. Is, uh, you know what? It's going to be penance for throwing a second shot. That's what it's going to be. That'll make me feel better. Hopefully someone will find it and have fun with it. Maybe. Maybe return it. I doubt it. But um, we'll see. They might. They might not. Oh! That's karma. That's karma. But anyway, I would like to know what y'all do. Um, and if you're not a disc golfer, if you're just one of my very sweet family members watching this. Um, just enjoy the show. Okay, so now we're going to one of my favorite holes at Mary Moore uh, 12. And, oh, it's so shaky. Okay, so I'm here at 12, and uh, it just occurred to me, I don't think I ever gave a thorough explanation as, I mean, as thorough of an explanation as to why I'm doing this. So, um, like I said earlier, my husband and I own Destination, and... Um, something we didn't realize once taking on a, a large business or a small business like that, but huge for us. Um, we just, we lost our connection to you. We really did. Um, we, we find ourselves caught up in the monotony of like paperwork and orders and the next new release, which, oh my God, manufacturers, could y'all just slow down? Oh, I cannot tell you how many hours literally hours my husband spends doing just product creation I'm not complaining I love what I do but oh god manufacturers um, I'll, I'll do another video on the way the industry has changed of the last 10 years of the last decade it has gone from like tortoise to light speed but anyway I digress I want to connect with y'all again I want y'all to know when you buy something from Destination online or in the store, um, it's it's from us. I mean, every every part of this business is is cultivated and curated by my husband, myself, um, Ryan and Evan, um, Dave. I mean, there's just there are good people behind this this business, and I want you to know that that. We're not just some faceless company out there, you know, like we have kids, we have, we have a life that we, um, you know, that we couldn't have without Destination and without you. So thank you. Um, thank you for also <laughs> watching this long video and, um, and listening to my goofy rants and ravings and terrible editing and shaky video I, like I said I'm gonna get better I'm gonna learn more if you stick with me you will you will watch me evolve um, but yeah so um, I just I just want to connect with y'all again I want to be a part of it and it just it's uh, it's it's hard like it's really it's it's early in the morning you know early ish in the morning right now the only time I really get to play um, so ramble 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 I love you Thank you. Uh, so here we go. On to into the future. See what happens. Um, yeah. It's so weird. Feels like talking to myself. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So hole twelve. I can actually film myself with my phone. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, there. Uh, I'm gonna throw a road runner so I can get that flying. Let's see how it goes. I 
got the swing? Oh, probably couldn't even see that. All right, well, it's down there. I should probably cut this video short because it's getting really long. I'm really sorry. Okay, um, I did okay. Okay. It hit the tree, but it's uh, still not too bad. So I'll show you my next shot. Show you my next shot. Uh, there. There you see it. There. There's the hole over there. Okay. That didn't work. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so try and put no okay so hopefully I'll make that putt but I am going to skip the next few holes just to kind of keep the video to a shorter video um, yeah it is such a pretty day that didn't work. <clears throat> this is the Mary Moore Seawright signature hole. 15. Down the hill. So pretty. I think I'm just going to um, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the enjoy the space for a minute. And uh, yeah, it's just it's so quiet and peaceful. And, and then I'm going to throw. It was a really good choice to just sit here for a minute. I saw a, uh, I think it was a family of red tail hawks fly over there. That was really cool. Um, and one of them flew right overhead. I didn't hear a thing. It's cool. All right, so now I'm gonna throw. I think I can get a good angle on this hole. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to throw a mid-range straight down the pipe, hopefully. Um, probably going to throw my gator just so I can put a little more on it and not fear turning it over. It's a little bit of a headwind. So here we go. Oh. Probably. I forget if I've shown this before, but this is my boom stick. If you get that reference, you're awesome. If you don't, it's okay. You're just probably not old enough or too old. Either way, it's fine. Um, Okay, see you at the bottom. Okay, took me a while to find that one. Um, <laughs> it was right in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> um, I thought it kicked in, but it did not. So this is actually my my upshot. Mer, mer. So love this hole. Look at that. Isn't that a great hole? Uh, so, you know, honestly, looking at my bag, um, all of it is mostly like old, old stuff, old stuff. Um, that's another thing I need your help with. Um, I need to get out here and try new discs, new discs that people are releasing. So that's another thing you can help me out with in the comments. Um. I feel like I'm packing a lot into this video. Sorry. But um, we're almost done. We're at a uh, hole 16 uh, after 15. All right. So here it is. Basket's like right 
there, there. So I'm gonna go up and over, nice and easy. Um, and I'm not gonna record it. I probably wish I should. I uh, wish I did, but I'm not going. Okay, to. here we are, hole 18. So if you stuck with me this long, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you're being very, um, very patient with me. This is all very new. Um, so um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is kind of just a test video, just to kind of see how I feel. I want to get your feedback, comments. Um, I'm not really sure where this is going to go, but let's see where it goes. Um, like and subscribe, please. Um, let me know there's someone out there enjoying this. Um, I will say, this is cathartic for me. Like I said earlier, I like doing this. This is this is nice. This is nice. I feel like, you know, I'm having a good time uh, sharing what kind of what I, I like to do. But, um, but yeah. We'll, we'll see what, what this evolves into. I've used that word a lot. That's kind of a mantra for me this year. Um, and uh, we'll see where, where the wind blows us. All right. Thank you, and uh, see you next time. Um, one more thing. I just, I just wanted to end it on the, the stillness and the, uh, the quiet of the course. So, there you go. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. All right. I finished around. Um, I almost quit once when I thought I didn't uh, lock my car and I almost walked back up and I thought, well, maybe I should cut my round short and get back and then I went, nope. You are finishing this round. You got to start it and then you got to finish it. Uh, so I am so happy with myself right now. Um, I think I made some really awkward videos, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, a little quirky weirdness is, um, it's, uh, my mileage is at 67777. I just, I just wanted to show that because I just thought it was super cool. <sighs> it felt so good to get out and play. <clears throat> okay. So the plan is to uh, go out and play again tomorrow, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll stick to the plan. All right. Boom.